Okay, so now I'm going to assemble my bolt and my nut together. So on the bottom, you can always have this assembly button, right? So now you're going to go into um, insert and it's going to be from the current document and you should have a bolt. So you're going to insert in here and then as you can see, it moves around. So you want to click it in place where you want to um, place it. Okay, and then you're going to go ahead and grab the nut. You can grab as many of these as you need. All right, we're gonna fix the the bottom of my bolt onto the origin. So I'm going to, um, first I'm gonna accept this. I'm going to get something called the triad manipulator. So I'm gonna click on this part right here. This right here is the triad manipulator and you can move it um, around. I want it in the center. And I'm going to right click and I'm going to, uh, should be moved to origin. So I'm going to move that to origin and then I'm going to fix it. So it's not going to, um, to move anymore. So I cannot move it anymore and it stays in place. So in order to assemble this together, I need to decide which um, feature I'm going to use. Um, this is to the fastening mate, you put it together. This is the Revolute, so it's going to be revolving um, in circle. Um, this is the slider sliding up and down. I'm actually going to use the cylindrical mate, so it's going to like spin around. So I'm going to click on that. Um, there are different mates that you're going to be learning about later, but we're going to just do one quick simple assembly. And all right, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the, the middle of the top of this, the tri manipulator. So let me zoom in. So right in the center. Okay, so make sure it's in the center because that's where I'm going to um, connect together. And then now um, for my nuts, I'm going to um, make sure I'm grabbing the center. So I highlighted that. I'm grabbing this part right here. Oh, this one got undo so I need to make sure this is in the middle and it should just go right together okay and I'm going to accept it and then it should be able to uh, rotate back and forth and as you can see there's plenty of room for it to um, to kind of connect so what you notice that if you um, rotate it up it kind of goes away uh, go out of that and then if you go down it actually goes through the um, the the bottom of the bolt so that's not good so what we're gonna have to do is kind of figure out the um, the distance that it can go so we're going to be putting some limits on our um, cylindrical so this is where I'm going to click on my limits and um, I'm gonna have to have a maximum and a minimum distance Okay, so for my limit, um, I actually flip the position of my um, primary axis. So the tri manipulator actually is going down onto my thread. And then for my um, limit, uh, limit Z minimum distance, I put zero. And then because this, uh, this part of the, the threaded part is one inch, I put just from zero to one. And then I accepted that. And then as you can see, it doesn't go past the, um, the head of that, but it actually it's free to move, um, to move up and, and down. So that is what you have for your first assembly, and hopefully you enjoy it.